Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a DIY bride video. I'm really excited for this one because I'm sharing my bridesmaid's dresses, flower girl dress, her shoes, and I have a pretty big haul as well. So before I get into it, if you are new, please subscribe so you'll always be notified when I post a new video. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it. And let's get started. So for my bridesmaids dresses, I decided to use Rent the Runway. I love that website. I think it's set up really nicely. It has like a lot of reviews from people along with a photo. So someone will tell you like, I'm 5'4 and I'm 130 pounds and I wore this dress, I wore this size, or I sized up, I sized down. I think they just have a lot of really helpful reviews so you don't have to worry that things won't fit. And also, I did it a little bit differently. Personally, I don't like when all bridesmaids are in the same dress. I know way more people really like that than people like me who don't, so I know I'm kind of an oddball when it comes to that, but I just don't think the same dress can be flattering on like a bunch of different people unless they're all the same height and size and shape and all that thing. So I really like when everyone is in a different dress that's in the same like family of colors, if you know what I mean. So how I decided on my bridesmaids dresses was I went on their website and took a screenshot of every dress that I liked. I knew I didn't want like red or black or anything like that, but I was pretty open for the rest of it just because I wanted to make sure that they all worked together and looked like they belong together, if you know what I mean. So I just took screenshots of a bunch of dresses I liked and then I sort of put them all next to each other and found six dresses that I thought went together really nicely and I asked everyone like would you rather wear a short dress or a long dress do you like straps do you like this do you like that and just I wanted everyone to feel comfortable in their dress and I wanted everyone to like it of course so that was what I did and if anyone was like a pickier person I gave them options if I knew someone really wouldn't care then I just asked them if they liked that dress and everyone said yes so I think that is a really great way to do it no one has to spend a ton of money on a dress they'll never wear again and I just think it's fun it's like really nice dresses so I'm really excited about that and here is my lineup of all the dresses they may change slightly like one or two of them but for the most part these are what we're going with so I really love them I think they're perfect for a summer wedding I definitely wanted to keep in mind the fact that like this is an outdoor wedding it's summer it's probably going to be warm so there's three long dresses and three short and it will be every other when we're like standing at the altar and stuff so I'm really excited about that I love them and yeah for my flower girl dress I had a really hard time finding one Everything that I saw kind of looked the same and I really wanted to buy a dress on Etsy but I wasn't finding one so someone recommended, I think it's pinkprincess.com and I found this dress which I think is so adorable. There's the flowers on the top and it's just really flowy and then the back is really simple. It just looks like this. I thought this was so cute and our flower girl is going to be almost three when she wears this so I don't want her to feel really uncomfortable in like a big poofy heavy dress. I'm trying to be like thinking about the fact that it's summer and it's going to be hot so I want her to be comfortable. I also plan on her wearing like a little flower crown and her hair in a bun or I don't know, something like that. I think that will be really cute. And then since this was really inexpensive, I think this was like $49, something like that, which is really cheap for a flower girl dress. I did go a little more than I should have, I feel like, on her shoes or I don't feel like that way, but when I told my fiance I spent what I spent on a pair of sandals, for a baby, he just kind of looked at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> so I got her a pair of Jack Rogers. I love Jack Rogers. I feel like my style is like all over the place because I like really preppy things and I like things that are really edgy as well, but I've always just been a sucker for Jack Rogers and I got her white ones, obviously. So they look like this. Let me just take all of this stuff off. How cute is that? Like that is the cutest thing I have ever seen in my life. She was actually here this weekend and I forgot to have her put this stuff on to see if it fit, which is really dumb. I don't know why I totally forgot about that, but I just love these. I think they are the cutest thing in the world. They look really cute with her dress. And I actually bought these online from Bloomingdale's. I will link them down below because they were on sale and I think they still are. So if you guys want some Jack Rogers, I definitely recommend picking them up right now while they're on sale. But I just think they're so cute and they last forever. They're really nice quality. I know she won't be able to wear them forever. Obviously, she's a baby. She's growing, but still love them. And I think they are perfect for summer, perfect for summer weddings. Just really summery, so I'm super excited about these. So next, I wanted to show you guys the champagne flutes and the knife and whatever that other thing is called for the cake. And I feel like a lot of people, like, 
place a lot of value in these things, but honestly, they're not like important to me at all. I know I will never use them again. It's just really for one day. So I didn't want to go too crazy and spend a lot of money on that kind of thing. So the first thing is the champagne flutes and they came in a box like this. I actually found these at a Marshalls on sale for like $20 or something like that, like really, really marked down. And when I first saw these, I thought they looked like really tacky. And then I was like, they're just very wedding. So I don't know if that's why I thought they looked kind of tacky, but I think they look fun too. And just, I don't know, I think they like stand out a little bit. So that's why I like them. They look like this and they are like a shorter champagne flute, obviously. And there are pearls in the bottom. So I just thought that was very fun and very like, it's definitely super wedding, if you know what I mean. So those are the champagne flutes that I got. And then I will show you guys the knife and whatever that other thing is called. So they came in a box like this. It's by Vera Wang for Wedgwood. And then inside looks like this. It's kind of unwrapped already, but that's how it comes. So I thought these were really cute because there's a bow on the bottom. Like it's a rope style bow, I guess I would say. I thought that was really, really cute. And it's just obviously stainless looks like that and then the knife so it's the same thing obviously there is a bow right here on the end and then it has like the roping on the front of it so I thought this was really cute I think it's simple but it definitely like has a little bit to it so those are the what is this thing called I think it's like a cake server or something right honestly I have no idea but that's the stuff that I picked up for that I also wanted to show you guys the signs I picked up for our chairs. I almost bought signs on Etsy for like 30 something dollars and I'm just thinking like I know I can find them for way less. So I found these at Home Goods actually which I think is super random but I'm really excited about them and I hope you can like see through the plastic on them. But obviously it says Mr. and Mrs. in white and black. I'm really excited about these. I thought that was a really good find. Really random that I found these at Home Goods, but hey, I will take it. I really, really like them, and I just think like the subtle flowers and everything are exactly like the style we're going for, so really excited about that. I also wanted to show you guys some decorations that I picked up from Michaels. So this says Celebrate It is the brand. I couldn't find these online, but I know Michaels, they don't put everything they have in store online. It's like way more limited, I guess I would say. So I got this as like a decoration probably for the cake table or like something like that. I just thought that was really, really cute. It has like the pink poofs and then the ribbon is gold. So I really, really liked that. And then I found this sign for the cake table. I want to obviously have a cake, but I want to have like a lot of different kinds of sweets around it as well. Just something where like you can pick it up and eat that one piece. I think that will be a lot easier than like I don't know for everyone if you just want like a little piece of something so I got this sign and it says love is sweet so like sweet for the sweets on the table if you know what I mean I thought that was really cute so that is going to go on our table for desserts I also picked up a letter B from Michaels so it looks like this it has like a coppery look to it which you guys know I love so I don't know where I'm going to use that but I'm sure I will find somewhere for it I also picked up this sign from Target it says cheers on it so I thought that was really cute we'll probably put that by the bar and since it's not like it floats or anything it doesn't need helium so for the directions it says that all you have to do is put a straw in there and then once it's blown up you seal it so it sounds like it's really easy and this was only six dollars which I think is a pretty good deal for like a big sign like that so I thought that was really cute so that is everything for today's DIY bride video Video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!